Hi, this is Mike Pettigrew, serial entrepreneur and author of the number one Amazon bestseller, the most powerful goal achievement system in the world. And then in this short video, we're going to look at the power of negative thinking. You know, I think, why? Why negative thinking? Usually people talk about the power of positive thinking. Well, I assure you, uh, how you think creates the circumstances of your life. And I've had a lot of experience in the power of positive thinking and the power of negative thinking. And let me assure you, I wouldn't recommend the power of negative thinking, as you'll soon discover. Um, I, this is a very short extract from my new uh, online training course called Goal Hacking. Uh, if you want further details about it, it's www.goal-hacking.com. It's my new accelerated goal achievement system. So, and I'm really proud of it because it can change your life. I'm absolutely sure of that. And so many people have given me amazing feedback. It's absolutely transformed their lives. So without any further ado, let's get into the power of, of well, first of all, positive thinking. Famous sayings, this is Mahatma Gandhi. He said, a man is but the product of his thoughts. What he thinks he becomes, what we think we become. Very important, so that's positive thinking. Also, Winston Churchill, he said, the pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity, and an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. I love that, that's wonderful, I'll read it again. The pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity, an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. That's a wonderful, wonderful saying. So that's the part of positive thinking. Let's look at the power of negative thinking. If you've been watching my videos or listening to my podcasts at this point, you probably know something about my story. Just in case you, you don't, I'll share it with you. A few years ago, and this is the power of negative thinking, several years ago, about 15 years ago, I lost everything. I had been very successful in business. I'd sold my first major company to a multinational in 2001. I thought I'd take an early retirement, but it's amazing the twists and turns that life has in store for us. It's almost like for many years, I discovered the power of positive thinking. And next, I had to learn the power of negative thinking, the way a lot of people think, for me to be able to really understand the depths of suffering that people go through. So a few years after selling my my, my company to a multinational. I was very wealthy. I'd achieved all my life's biggest dreams at that point. I was only 39. And I made some really bad investments. A couple of really bad investments. And I trusted the wrong people. I trusted the wrong people. I trusted people that my friends were, well, one, two individuals that my friends said, what are you going into business with them for? <laughs> they thought I was crazy. But I was doing it out of fear. Uh, of a set of circumstances occurred where I, I, I had to go back into business quickly and it was motivated by fear. And when anything is motivated by fear, there's a possibility of making serious mistakes. And I did because I lost everything within a few years. I reached the point where our baby son was born and I had no money to feed him or my wife or myself. Our fortune, which was considerable, was completely gone. And I can't even begin to describe how frightening that was. I hated myself. I berated myself. I felt so guilty to have got my little family into such an awful situation. We thought we had enough money and prosperity to last a lifetime. And it was all gone. And you can only imagine how, how, how much I hated myself. I thought I was useless. I, all the confidence I had before was completely gone. When you lose a lot gradually over time, your self-esteem, your self-confidence, even if you have lots of it, is slowly but surely eroded until you think you're just worthless and useless. And that, that was the situation I found myself in. And I gradually, gradually sank into pessimism from positive thinker to really pessimist, okay? And I hated myself and berated myself. And the result is that everything got worse. Because as I mentioned earlier, your, or I've mentioned in many videos, your dominant thoughts and your dominant emotions create the, 
the circumstances of your life. So if you're <clears throat> negative, you're pumping out into the universe negative thoughts and negative emotions, you're actually attracting into your life more bad stuff. A hard fact. And it was extremely frightening. Anyway, I got to the point, as I say, where I had no money. All our fortune was gone. This was the effect of the, this was the power of negative thoughts. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Awful. <clears throat> However, how did I change my circumstance? Because clearly I did. And my life has totally changed through what I discovered. And I now I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've created 18 businesses over the years. I have multiple bestsellers. I've spoken on the stage of the most influential personal development trainer in history. I've been interviewed in radio and TV well over 100 times. I've helped tens of thousands of people transform their lives all around the world because of the awful situation I went through. I honestly believe that if we go through hell, uh, but we manage to transform our situation, we are obliged to share what we've learned with others. Otherwise, the experience is wasted. It's so important for you to help other people along their path if you've gone through terrible hardship and you've managed to transform it. Otherwise, the experience is wasted. So I got to the stage where I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take it anymore. I, enough was enough. I just couldn't take it anymore. And I made a vow to the universe. I said, show me what I must do. I'll do anything. Show me. And, and, and you know, it's, it's probably the first time I ever said that because I had to sink so low to get to that state where I said, look, just show me. Show me what I need to do. And immediately, the next day, amazing, amazing, my prayer was answered. I picked up a book called The Science of Getting Rich. This is the book that The, uh, the Secret was based on. And I actually, funnily enough, I read it the very same month as the author of The Secret read it. Incredible. This, this book changed my life. It's all about, even though the, the title is The Science of Getting Rich, it's all about the power of gratitude and how gratitude acts like a magnet. So I decided to do what today I call my crazy gratitude experiment. I knew I had to change my dominant thoughts and emotions, that that was the solution to changing our situation. So every 30 minutes of the day, I would bring up gratitude. I'd think about a time in the past where I had felt deep, sincere gratitude. I'd dwell on that memory, try to re relive it in as much detail as possible, and gradually gratitude would bubble up. But if you're doing this every 30 minutes of the day, you get quite good at it. So at the end of the first day, I felt so much lighter. Our certain circumstances definitely hadn't changed. I've only been doing this a day. But I felt different. And the dominant thoughts and feelings I was transmitting out into the universe changed. They finally changed. So what you, the dominant thoughts and emotions that you have actually create your circumstances. I, this is my experiment to see if our circumstances would change by doing this. And they absolutely did. Uh, mass, massive, massive coincidences started happening. Only three days later, uh, I originally decided to do this experiment for uh, a week, but I kept it up for, for quite a while. But you know what, I felt so different just after the first day. But the first major real coincidences started happening only three days later. Coincidences that affect me every day of my life. Coincidences that enable me to create amazing businesses. <laughs> just, just extraordinary. Everything started to happen when I changed my inner life. And this is the, this is the way to achieve your life's biggest dreams. This is how you achieve your goals. Small, subtle changes within. It's almost like pulling the corner of a spider's web. You change just one aspect within yourself, and it's very easy to do. The whole web of your life changes. You pull the corner of the spider's web, the whole web changes. So you change just one aspect of your life, and your entire life changes. So, as soon as I changed my mindset, our circumstances started to change. And this, it's this awful experience awful experience has enabled me to go on to help tens of thousands of people all over the world to transform their lives 
and achieve their life's biggest dreams. So if you want to achieve your goals, if you want to achieve your goals in the fastest way possible, check out my website, www.goal-hacking.com. That's www.goal-hacking.com. And thank you so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you again very soon. Bye-bye.